Morning all. Still on mental focus training. Indeed, I could do a video every week on mental focus training for the rest of my life. And if you did what I suggested, it might change your life. Uh, probably there's no might about it actually. Last week I talked about mental exercising in the context of meditation. Formal, structured, coming to your senses. Now, that's an interesting term, because that's exactly what you need to do to focus in the here and now, in the moment to moment of life, to ensure that you're doing the right thing and that you're doing the right thing to the very best of your ability in the context of what you want from life. But there are a variety of other things that you can do as well, because with the best will in the world, I could meditate for five minutes in the morning, say at eight o'clock, and by eleven o'clock my mind would be all over the place because of things that have happened, because of demands on my attention and energy from other people, or simply because I've drifted back into my default state of mind, my normal, muddled, fragmented state of mind. Therefore, what I would suggest that you do is you find ways of paying attention during the course of the day and deliberately, deliberately during the course of the day, decide at various points in time, I'm going to stop, stop whatever I'm doing, even if it's the right thing, stop whatever I'm doing and actually spend a couple of minutes refocusing my mind. What I have in mind here is using the routine of everyday life to break with routine. Routine is one of our biggest enemies because routine actually ensures that we do what we do routinely, habitually, and through the process of psychological habituation, we end up paying no attention to the things that we do habitually, which is the exact opposite of what we're trying to achieve here. I'm talking about doing simple things, and you know, some of you will have heard me saying this before, but I have to keep repeating myself because most people say, oh yeah, that's a great idea then don't do it. When you get up tomorrow morning, brush your teeth with the hand that you don't normally brush your teeth with. Because you have to pay more attention to it. Indeed, you have to pay attention in the first place to actually make the choice to do it differently. When you sit down to dinner tonight, swap the knife and fork from the hands that you normally use them in, assuming that you use a knife and fork. If you sit down to dinner with your family, and unfortunately a lot of people don't, but if you do, sit somewhere else, sit in somewhere, someone else's place. Mix it up. Don't sit in the same place when you sit down to watch television. Indeed, if there's nothing good on television, turn the television off. Drive to work a different way. Take a different train to work. Take a different bus to work. Walk a different way to work. Walk a different way to lunch. Eat something different for lunch. Drink tea instead of coffee. Drink a different coffee instead of the coffee that you normally have. The list is bloody endless. The point is that our lives are made up of tiny routine things, but it is in the tiny detail of life that we make a difference to our lives. And if we don't take the opportunity afforded to us by the tiny detail of life, then that opportunity is gone. And you may never, ever, get to the point of saying, oh, well, I'll take this opportunity. Why? Because your default state of mind is one that says, ah, don't care. I'll go through the motions, I'll live my life routinely, I'll do the things that I do habitually, I'll pay no attention and lie on my deathbed and say to myself, what in God's name was that all about? If you want to do that, be my guest, but it's your own funeral. What are we talking about? We're talking about using routine to break routine. Weaving the process of paying attention to the detail of life into the very detail of life. So that becomes second nature to you. So that you begin to actually pay attention to everything that you're doing. And not only that, pay attention to the extent that you know that in the things that you are doing, they are the right things.